Welcome back to the Tower Tracker channel and welcome back to the vlog and today I've came to somewhere where I've never been in approximately 30 years. It used to just be called the Northeast Air Museum. It's now called Nelsam, which is the Northeast Land, Sea and Air Museum. It, it's basically a place where retired old military aircraft go. It's a bit of a junkyard. The aircraft and exhibits aren't in pristine condition. Like I say, it's been 30 years since I've been here, around about 30 years. My dad used to fetch me quite often, and it has expanded. Like I say, it used to just be a few aircraft outside and a few in a, in a hangar. But a lot of the ones outside don't have wings, they don't have tailplanes, that sort of stuff. You know, it, it is a bit of a junkyard. But they are some full aircraft as well. And they just had a new exhibit put up, which is the Panavia Tornado, which when I was a kid was my favourite aircraft. It was the leading RAF aircraft of the time. Excuse the background noises, they're working over there somewhere, but there it is, there is the tornado. My childhood sweetheart, I used to love these aeroplanes, and it was my dream to join the RAF and fly one. Uh, I went to the air training corps, uh, I went to the RAF and had a medical, and I was colorblind. So yeah, could never fly one. And this is a tornado simulator, so this is a cockpit of one. And in the back is where the navigator sits and holds on for dear life. <laughs> Come on driver, let's go. Oh, just me.
Now this aeroplane brings back a lot of memories for me. Gill Aviation, it's a short turboprop engine and when I was in high school I had to do two weeks of work experience. Am I to go for work experience? Right there. And this was one of the aircraft that we were overhauling at the time. And if you look up here, if you look on there, there's some fabric discs. I put those on, I glued them in, and I painted them. All those fabric discs up there. So yeah, what a small world, huh? Part of me is in the museum. Now this that I'm walking underneath is the Vulcan. It's not that long been retired. Very old aircraft. This one's been here for as long as I remember. Um, but they used to let you go inside that and I've sat in the pilot position and I've sat in the navigators and radio operators and the bombardiers positions. That was Britain's major nuclear deterrent. It was a nuclear bomber. And look at the size of it. The last flying one of these stopped flying, was retired a couple of years ago. And I've seen it fly a few times and I couldn't believe how agile it was and the noise was unbelievable. So there you have it, that's the Northeast Sea, Air and Land Museum over at Sunderland, it's £6.50 entry, uh, it's open from 10am till 4pm, I think most days, I'm not sure if it's open on a Sunday, I'll double check that and put it in below if it is. So yeah, quite interesting, it has changed a lot since last time I was here, and it was really good to see an old friend in that Galair shorts, that was, that. yeah, I've worked on that plane, awesome. So, anywho, I'm going to head home now. Hope you've enjoyed this little video. Come along, come see the aeroplanes yourself and the exhibits. See you all tomorrow. Now it's time to do your job. <laughs>